on Abbas Hussain here from FightHype.com. I'm here with uh, director, managing director, director, promoter, president. president. That's what they call me in America. But in New York, you were also a security guard, oh, as we yeah, see yeah. many well, a times. This one, I didn't even get a chance to come down. I there. know, I know. I uh, straight into it. Talk to me about that one when you were stood in between them and that push up yeah. and everything. Well, the problem is, is so that was one where we intro them both to the stage. So you've got like you're standing, Jarrell was standing here, and Joshua walks towards you. So. Jarrell's not the kind of guy to wait, is he? So he walked over, and they did the same thing here as well today. Um, and then, like, Jarrell just, just shoved him, you know, like, but... I think that uh, we, we weren't a million miles away from punches being thrown in New York, not here. But what does it get you? Do you know what I mean? Like, you get the people who go... I saw some fighters saying, oh, Joshua's a pussy, like, he should have just hit him. This is not... What? And broke his jaw? Or someone falls off a stage and breaks their leg I mean like and your career's over you've got to be a little bit smarter than that you know it's not all about thuggery but they disrespected each other so they don't like each other and you saw a different Joshua in that press conference I mean he actually wants to engage now like that's quite unusual for him and he says things like I'm going to reconstruct your face which is like not the kind of thing that Anthony normally says and I think he's quite enjoying this build up as opposed to, I like look at his opponents recently, Klitschko, Parker, Takam, Povetkin. Weren't exactly banter city, was it? So now he's actually got a guy that he's bouncing off and a guy that he wants to knock out cold and he actually has emotion towards him. That might not be a good thing because the last time he had that emotion was against Dillian White and although he knocked him out, he did get hit and he did lose his rag and he was erratic. But he's, you know, he's... Um, he's He's, you know, he's uh, he's improved a lot since then. He's a lot more calculated. He's calmer. You know, I think he's going to take it in his stride. But I'm really looking forward to it. You know, looking at Edis sort of demeanour, like you said there, it seems like it, it is slightly on a personal level where mothers were born and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. It looks like AJ has taken that too hard today. He tried to engage him a little bit no, more. I like speak to AJ every day. He's not going to me. I want to kill him, I want to do it. But I know, because I saw how he behaved up there, it's not like he's lost his rag, but he, want, he wants this, you know, he wants a fight. He wants to knock Jarrell Miller out. And I don't think any of his other opponents, he ever really, other than Dillian, I don't think he really looked at them like that. He just looked at it as a job. This is what I've got to do, these are tactics. But with Miller, it's like, yeah, yeah, I want to knock him out, like clean, you know? So, but that's, that's not always good. Ed, would you say this is the first biggest card you put out in America in regards to all your fighters fighting on there you're talking about putting the British Irish yeah. fighters on there would you agree that's the case with this card yeah I mean look there's nothing bigger than the world heavyweight championship there's nothing bigger than the world heavyweight championship at the garden so for me just being a comp from a complete arrogant egotistical point of view this is the moment of my career to be honest because when you talk about Wembley Stadium against Klitschko, that was unbelievable. That's been done now, right? That will go down in history as the biggest event ever in British boxing history, unless we do Joshua against Wilder uh, or Fury. So this is on another level to that. Like, How many British promoters have gone out and staged the World Heavyweight Championship with their guy at Madison Square Garden? Not many, if any. Maybe... Kelly Maloney, but it's another story. So, but this is this is a big deal for me and the zone as well. And that you know that's that sorry that special four week period with Danny Jacobs and Canelo and Joshua Miller is showing the momentum that the zone has. So, this is a, like to have on your resume. Now moving away from me, for Joshua having on his resume defending his world titles at the Garden, it's pretty big. You know, like if you look at what Lennox did over time, eventually he got there, certainly not after 22 fights. Like, we're moving in a great direction. And Joshua said there he wants 10 years. Mm. He does. Like, Rob wants him to do three or four years and then, but he wants it, he wants 10 years. And uh, this isn't about, um, you know, um, this isn't about one fight, Jarrell Miller, or two fights. This is about a legacy and beating everybody and becoming an undisputed champion.